Ooh, oh, man. I have to go for the Barats and the Rats? Yeah, it's, it's either Barats or what, something like a, a Yu Zong, maybe? If they really want to get the lane dominance against Nino. Will Alter Ego be able to pick up yet another win after their string of losses? Or will the gods punish them? It is Alter Ego against Dewa United Esports. Chaos. Will Alter Ego be able to bring more chaos than Dewa United? It is a chaotic battle in the land of dawn. It's not the Chaos Derby, but it is still gonna be full of action for sure. You can see for both junglers, it's about that fast clear and with the Jawhead assisting. Seems like Nile will have a bit more of an advantage. We'll see what they do with that though. Usually we see jungles go for a quick litho attempt or they can go straight into the jungle of their opponents and steal away a camp Just very, very sneakily. Kind of get an advantage that way. Ooh, Nile sliding force towards the litho. And the M's though by Indie Home. Firmness and tenacity for even what on the gold uh, on the Moscow wow. in the gold lane completely respecting potential yeah. and for Sorizo he has the tenacity as well considering he's tankier he's gonna be getting a lot more value from it inspire in the hands of highs means that there's gonna be spammable spells coming in sync coefficients and dashes yeah. I think that's about it when it comes to those interesting game changing emblems um, the Moscow needs to survive this lane against the Hearth the tenacity will most likely help it but now the question has been this Barat's backup, aside from just surviving the lane against Arlet, do you see the Detona's welcome as a tool to counter the Fanny? To counter the Fanny? I mean, if you can land it on the Fanny, it becomes a great tool. We saw... Ooh, hang on a minute. Whoa! With the cutthroat Nile clean, waiting for Heist to paint the Spear of Misery, and it was a free kill, even with the firmness and tenacity. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, the Fanny immediately online. Nile has always lethal on it. Now for Sorizo, again, realize, can he go and land the Daytona's Welcome on this mobile Fanny? Because Nile doesn't stay still. We've seen Lynx fall victim to that, but it depends on the situation. Uh, Boys, huh? Walking up, getting Dora walking on a three. Nino so coming down, Roundo getting the kill as well. Now, oh. Fanny much down. Over oh, oh. Ray winning the Retribution. Owen toning them away, Sorizo able to dish out some damage, but again, Roundo getting those vacuums. Nino escaping from Ray. It becomes a one-for-one, one, a kill for a turtle. I just said that it's going to be unlikely for services to land it on the Fanny, and he did. They cast the curse as proficient as ever. For Dewa, though, they're seeing that there's so much potential for Alter Ego to win out in these fights. Dewa can kind of hold, they kind of sustain. When it comes down to it, they have drafted something more of a front to back, and they require items. They require scalings, because the Loi inherit in the early game, the Fanny as well. All these early game base damage tools are available for Alter Ego to completely dominate. And here we go, talent predictions by the new application Go Pay. We have only Ranger Amas with the Alter Ego, but there we go with the Assemble Force. Ooh, I'm offended. Oh, the Cutthroat Nile! Clean on the cables! So clean. It's able to just get. A single oh, clean burst and Mueza evaporates. Keys, man, he tried to really save his teammate there by using the Terrify book into the Valentina's kit. But that was just a bit too risky, especially when Nile is around. You want to have that gap close, that outplay potential available in case he shows out. This is a lot of pressure exerted by the Fanny, not even by being in lane. When the Fanny isn't visible, it's almost like Dewa needs to save some of their spells just in case he shows up. Mm -hmm. and of course, oh, in case, pun fully intended. Ah, that's that's a good discovery <laughs> over there. But oh, and with the ejector, oh, against Sorizo, flicker, and then the spit out oh. into the kill. A questionable engage there, but now Nile walking forward. Nino not able to get the vengeance, but finally does. That's a kill traded in. Now the, the chain together with the enhanced sight and case with a splash of damage. Then we're united online. Oh, Interesting Heist. situation for the EXP lane right here. Both of them just have such an all-in kit. Look at oh. Heist though. The steal onto the diversion. Heist, where are you gonna go? Mueza doesn't even need to go for the I'm offended. Oh, what? Oh. How? No! A fist play from Dewa, but Heist is saying. And he will get punished for it in the end range. Oh. Revolution winning it out, but now getting caught against three, no, four of Alter Ego's members. Heist, almost the escape artist. For Alter Ego, but he gets taken down anyways. And all hell breaks loose. Dewa United, they get the turtle, but still, they lost highs in that process. 
they lost highs, but for the most part, they were able to actually get a lot of value from that play. The gold plating on the turrets not only touched too far. They were really could have saved a lot of time and has spent more time taking gold from Alter Ego there. But look at Owen already aggressively looking for something. Again, without the main front line available, it's gonna be too dangerous. The Nile, man. A lot of damage, and Sorizo just stands there menacingly as Owen gets caught. Oh no, Owen! Like coming out, Huesa oh, oh. is offended, but Owen doesn't care. So much fleet footwork coming in. It was highs back then, and now it was Owen. He's able to dodge all the initiations coming in towards him. Now Ultra Ego, of course, if you take a look at the audience prediction, Ooh. 70% off those uh, fans here voting for Ultra Ego. The people literally have spoken, voting for Ultra Ego. We'll see if the gods can crush down the will of them. But look at, look at this! Oh no, oh, they still wow. get the teleport. That the was flicker. a flicker burned by Moeza. Oh no! If you pulled one of them out of the diversion, that would have been such a good play. But for Dewa, unfortunately, they won't be able to get anything more from that diversion punish. Although, that's a cooldown used up by Alter Ego. So for a while, we won't see any big teleports. Yeah, and now, of course, you talked about how they picked up the Moskov to kind of match that global presence from the diversion by the Luo Yi. The hands of Roundel, of course, but you kind of forget that Case also has the access to the diversion with the Valentina IMU as well. So I think global presence in the side lanes, or maybe if you want to go for ganks, it's also very possible for Dewa United Ooh. to make. You no, know, what? Down bottom. And look at the other side of the map, Sorizo, going with a very, very deep cut. Now rotating to the mid lane. That's a great play. Now we can just rotate straight to the turtle. It's a bit of a fundamental style there. Just push the wave, cut it, and then go. Alter Ego might lose a tur uh, turret because of that. And now Dewa can pull the trigger on this turtle take. Let's see, Owen. Open it up, Weza. He found out. Something force coming down with the ejector as well. Onto Weza. Nile go back and forth. Dotty with the Hyper and get it. Cut throw down. No, it's a top down over. It's still going to oh. be Ray who finds the retribution somehow. So one for one, but retribution has proved to be deadly. Lethal. Strike three for Ray. He gets the retribution again and again. Diversion play again. Ooh. All right. right. Let me say, it won't be fruitful for all three go. Both teams now just treating roamers to get, try and go for a contest on the turtle. I'm wondering now with the Lord coming up being a bit more important, are any of these teams going to go and try to go for the kill instead of, of the objective? But we've seen both of them go for the 50-50s again and again. Uh -oh. Maybe going for a wipeout is the way to go. Moeza into the bottom limit, the seal Owen gonna be there. Diversion already bringing Rondo and Nino. What? It is gonna be what? Oh, caught up Nile! Getting the kill as the final slash reveals Moeza, but that's it. It's gonna be a great rotation from Dewa, but it's matched by the diversion. It's a reactive diversion, if you will, for all Torigo. A fresh way to use it, and they've successfully stopped the Dewa's aggression, but they are still behind in gold. If you look at the items, Heptasis and BOD for Nile. He's definitely a real threat for anyone that's squishy on the side of Dewa. Or what though? Not even the two item power spike at eight minutes. He is quite significantly behind. Oh, Nile just cabling his way front to back. And Dewa United, sure, they have been able to address this Fanny at least with the Detona's welcome from Cerizo. But mm -hmm. I don't think that is going to be. Uh, you know, an opportunity where, where he can really chop when the Fanny is cabling. But now, of course, diversion play. What? Thankfully, he's still behind the tower, so he's gonna be relatively safe. Hmm. Rotation comes through for Dewa. Gonna defend. And seeing that, Ultra Eagle will back away. It's a bit too visible. They're going for these diversion plays in the middle exactly. of the map, in the rivers, <laughs> right? Usually, you have to be a bit more crafty, discreet, a bit more discreet with your location selection. So Alterigo will not be able to get that play before the Lord. Once again, it's a 50-50. Is Alterigo or Dewa finally gonna go straight for the Lord or oh. go for some kind of pickup? Whoa! Ooh. Only on to Moesa. I don't think that's a good engagement. But still, Moesa very, very low. I'm offended! Bringing them all back right there. Oh, it'll be very low. Ray! Taken down by Nile. Still Alterigo winning it out. Two members down for Dewa. Oh. Nile chooses to recall and will come back. Diversion will bring some of the players to relocate even closer. Now they get ready for the second dance of the Lord. Nile is close. Let's see, with Nile right there. Oh, hi, is actually popping into the Mind Force. Good final slash over, and the chain CC with Nile's damage. Dewa cannot withstand Surizo. Now, 
Trying to go for the seal. Oh, he gets caught in the Spear of Destruction. Now, ow. And then the spin out Nino. Oh, Remy Khan has the Nino. still. The resets all around Nino. Chain CC, Mueza. Good move with the I'm Offended. That was quite close, man. Alter Ego, they're kind of underestimating the damage potential right there. But for Dewa still, you saw what? Completely chunked down by the damage coming in from Roundel. Needs to be a bit careful in the positioning business, man. But looking at this lore taken by Alter Ego, they're finally gonna be able to have a lot more macro pressure. A lot of the pushes already happening. Now maybe losing one or two turrets, Dewa will have to try and scramble to try and damage control. Yeah, so far. Very well, United. It's not really a tough loss. They're still able to fight at least in a few departments. I mean, Ray is still scaling slowly, and what still yet to show his powers. The late game does come, but Ultra Ego, they're able to zone out players of Dewa United. Fake diversion to just bait out the players of Dewa United as they try to usher the Lord towards that bottom side turret. Trying to crack the base wide open this time, but the Lord's still working on the tier 2 turret. Now, Nile again. Such a pest. Just trying to divert the attentions of the players of Dewa United Ultra Ego. They have full control of the map and the jungle as well. Down bottom, up top. You start from the jungle and the pressure makes it makes its way down to the lanes as well. Now with the mid tower taken down though, finally the jungle of Dewa United is gonna be a bit more accessible as Owen looks for a chance to make a play happen. So Rizzo under the turret. It is very low though. It can be just taken right from under his nose. Flicker and Mofeta coming down. That's Sorizo with the chop down, but it is instantly purified out. Tewa get rid of Owen. We've already utilized oh. two flickers. Diversion play. Where is it gonna go? Oh, someone's going behind, but they went even further behind. Dewa <laughs> tried to look for him. Now they're like, what? Where? Where did they go? They can't fake the faker. And they did not get the diversion play. That was just they were just trading places. The double diversion. Is it the difference in level there? Actually, I guess I don't think so. It's just a selection of the different bushes. Rondo just made sure that his team was far enough from danger just in case, right? Just in case something somehow shows up right behind them. Looking at the in-game equipment yet again. Rose Gold meets here for Nile, respecting the chance for Ray to kind of burst him down if Moeza is able to get some kind of pickoff. You can see from his own itemizations, Athena first to try and deal with the damage from the Harith from the Loyi as well. The Dreadnought armor is more of an afterthought since Nino and Nile, in theory, won't be targeting the Ruby. Mm -hmm. Owen walking up, getting the ejector onto Ray as he has sword. Oh. Sorizo with a two-man final slash, but now Moesa with I'm offended coming down. Nile in the back line, able to go for the flags. Oh, dodging away from the top down. Nile is godlike, not just in stats, but also in the way he cabled around that skirmish. Elusive and chaotic. Add a bit of power and you get yourself now. Wow. Able to just bob and weave, even trying to dodge that Tuna's welcome in the chomp. The fanny is insane. It's just so good, so mechanical coming in from Nile. We saw the Nylon before. Now it's it's the what Nanny? <laughs> the Nanny? <laughs> fanny Nile? It's just so good. He's so swift with it. And he knows exactly when to go in. We saw Roeza try to go for the counter engage. Uses the Don't Run Wolf King. Uses the I'm offended. Once he saw those two tools were down, he only, he only waits for Watt, sees where Watt is, and goes straight for him. No Spear of Misery available for him either. Nile just immediately takes him down. Dewa has to adapt right here. They have le they're leaving nothing in the tank to deal with the Fanny once he shows up. And he is one of the main dangers in this game. Yeah. And so far, Nile, stellar performance here with the Fanny. 7 0 4 he is godlike. And uh, the players of Dewa United, you know, they just need to play reactively this time. They don't have, you know, that upper hand into trying to execute and just initiate to the players of Alter Ego. Because again, so much peel coming in. And Nino has been on point with the Arlet as well. Now Dewa United, will they be able to defend this Lord uh, cracking into oh, their base? No. Teresa already used the tech of his walk from earlier. Didn't find anyone. Was the only find the ammo pendant onto Owen. Oh, it's now oh. the back goes in. Teresa has the mortality. No! Oh my lord! What was that? He's playing with his food. Going in immediately, taking all, all three base cards. Owen! With the ejector into the final slash. Ray cannot move. Heist will walk forward now to the mod force as well. Going for the reset. Dino doing the same thing as Watt can only just purify and blink backwards. Now Niall, look at him with the cables coming back at it. Watch, you gotta be careful, my guy. Mid wave in the mid lane still there. Watt can be caught right there as the ejector connects on the Cerezo. Niall goes in again. He don't even need him. Niall oh. again with the 
tables batted away from him. Get him out of here. Get the fanny out. It is unleashed. And when you have Nile, and we will all just turn into chaos. All hell breaks loose, Ultra Ego. Commit the chaos in game number one. They wanted to go for the fights, but they have fit enough more than they can absolutely chew. Ultra Ego taking the aggression.